Yeah, hang on. Yeah, we good. All right, who's going to be asking? I just said about to ask questions. Okay. Tell us your name. Byron Lyons. B-Y. B-Y-R-O-N, Lyons, L-Y-O-N-S. We know who you are. At uh, Chief Deputy Polk County Sheriff's Office. Uh, today, uh, second day of our uh, marijuana investigation of the plants that were uh, discovered on Saturday afternoon. Uh, we're uh, at this point right now, we've, we've got about uh, somewhere close to about 16 unofficially, maybe 17 fields that were found uh, uh, today. New fields separate from the 10 fields from yesterday. Um, we haven't got all the marijuana um, uh, in yet, so at this point right now we're looking somewhere close to 28,000 plants that have been recovered so far today. And total, you think you're going to hit how many? If the numbers, we still have about seven fields, somewhere between six and seven fields that have not yet been picked, we will be real close to 100,000 if not over. And we, I know we talked about this yesterday, but can you just tell us about how sophisticated this operation is? Um, the operation is uh, very sophisticated. When you really look at it, these guys come in and they, they go from uh, from the creek banks and come in, they bring their generators, their own water pumps, and they set up their tents. Everything is, is set, they're prepped uh, to where they have one mule or one person that brings their food into them. Um, it's a self-contained operation, and uh, I mean, from the irrigation down to the to even the uh, how they take and fertilize the you know their their crops. I mean, it's a, it's this is a money-making venture. And, and tell us, I guess, you know, how, how this is all working out. How long do you think this has been going on for? We, when we started looking at this, is we thought maybe just a, a short-term operation, mm -hmm. but it appears that this operation may have been uh, a pretty long-term operation for the fact that we're finding the new fields and it's spread out over such a, a large area. Um, it, it's kind of hard to say how long these guys have been here because even though these plants are, are young plants, um, there's a possibility that there may have been mature plants that have been already harvested out and they're starting over again. So until we're able to uh, sit down and do some interviewing uh, with the, the one suspect that has been uh, apprehended, uh, it's, it's just kind of hard to say. Can you tell us about this one suspect that was arrested? Is it a... At this point in time, I have not, uh, I've not got to meet the individual. I've not uh, talked with him. Um, we actually have not even interviewed. He's, uh, from, from my understanding, he has been booked. Um, I don't have any information on him at this time. Uh, we are planning and hoping to have him uh, interviewed uh, by this afternoon. Does he speak English at all? Is he saying anything? At our... I, I'm not for sure on uh, whether or not he's able to speak English because I know that uh, there at the jail I do have some uh, Spanish-speaking officers, so we're able to be able to communicate with him. And, uh, how many, I'm assuming there are illegal immigrants that are living here. How many do you think are living here? Are we just... And, you know, and really, at this point, um, on his citizenship, I'm not for sure. I don't know. Um, I'd hate to, you know, to, to speculate. Uh, I'd rather wait until I'm able to look at the documentation and the booking to be able to, to speak on that. I can say that uh, we do. I can say that he is uh, of a Hispanic uh, male subject, um, and pretty much that's probably the only thing that I know for sure. Um, just like I said, I, I haven't even looked at his paperwork. So I, I don't even know date of birth, ages, or uh, even an address. So. Was he running yesterday? That's how you guys caught oh, him? Or? When we came into the this new set of fields, um, the uh, game wardens came in on the on their uh, four wheelers. Uh, two subjects were in a camp. They jumped up and started running. Um, they had, we brought the dogs in. Luckily, thank goodness, we had the uh, TDC uh, employees here. They got their dogs here to help them in in a in a really fast time and was able to get the guy apprehended. What about conditions out here, Chief? I mean, it's hotter than heck. Yesterday, yesterday had quite a few drop down and it, yeah. getting treated today medically, we, and same thing again today now, it looks like. Today, we, we're, we're, we're blessed today because of the fact that we were able to set up, we got some cool uh, houses, some what we call cool spots set up. Uh, we've got the school district in, they've brought in buses, air-conditioned buses. We've got uh, a camper trailer that's set up and one of our buses that, so we've got several different uh, cool houses set up. So we're keeping the guys hydrated. You know, we've got medical staff, uh, that's here, that's monitoring them going out to the fields. We find someone who, who appears or may look as though that there may be some medical issues. We're immediately pulling them off those fields, bringing them back to the cool houses and setting them down and hydrating them. Logistically, how is it working with all these groups? About how many groups y'all have out here? Uh, today, uh, yesterday we were somewhere around uh, 10, 10 agencies. Today we're close to somewhere around 13, 14 agencies, somewhere around 82 uh, officers that, that who are here. Um, Logistically, he, it's kind of one of those things, it's a, uh, a managed chaos. I mean, uh, uh, th thank God we were able to come together, 
put this group together and uh, be able to go out and then be able to keep everybody, you know, pretty much managed, make sure that safety and, and uh, their safety is being, uh, first of all, looked at and then the safety of the public and then be able to recover our evidence properly. And I have to ask you the most obvious question. Can you tell us what they're doing in the field right now? Right now, what we're doing in the fields in, in the different, you know, there are, there are several different planted fields. And what we did, we broke our officers off into groups with a, with a team leader in each group. We have those, uh, those team leaders with their groups in each individual field. And what they do is they, they pull their, their samples for evidence, and then they go through, and then they start, they start pulling, pulling the marijuana and keeping count of uh, the marijuana that's recovered. And inmates as well today, right? How many inmates? Uh, inmates, we, we have uh, about six inmates out, and basically what those guys are doing, making sure we keep in coolers full of ice down, helping the officers when they get in here. Uh, these guys are, are helping them with uh, being able to help load trailers and just, just out here just being, just helping out with uh, what needs to be done, keeping the area clean, keeping water and ice, uh, Gatorade ice down. Y'all first found out about this Saturday, and um, y'all didn't work on it until yesterday. Is that because of how big it was? This would have been hard for just Polk County to handle it. We started contacting the different agencies to get them to come out and assist us with the uh, operation. So that's kind of why it takes a little time to be able to get everybody together, the logistics and, uh, you know, vehicles, trucks, supplies, and what have you. So it was best that instead of rushing into it, we set officers on it around the clock. There have been officers sitting on it around the clock since Saturday night, and then we, we take it and manage it. One, you know, one day at a time, one day at a time. Now you have one suspect. What about the others? How, how are you going about that? On the other, the the other subject, you know, subject that that ran, we just keeping officers in the area. We've uh, letting folks know that hey, you find, you see someone in the area who looks for, you know, suspicious, who's acting suspicious. You know, give us a call. We will send people out to check. Um, in the the uh, campsites that we process, you know, there those campsites, the items that were taken will be fingerprinted, and those fingerprints will be submitted. You know, to APHIS and see if we can come up with some type of identity of those subjects that were that have been inside those campsites. So there could be one running around right now. That, that's the possibility yeah. that there could be one running around. Okay. Okay. Yeah, plan on being out tomorrow.